Welcome to SGS Arts. So today I'm gonna do the TV version of the Top 5 On-Screen Duos Challenge created by Hux Pop Culture Cafe. Like I mentioned in the end of the film challenge, that the TV show challenge is to me harder than the movie one because there are so many amazing duos in TV shows. I mean many of these TV shows that we are gonna talk about today have other duos that I also love. And then there are other TV shows that, that I'm not gonna mention today. Yeah. But we are gonna start with possibly my number one favorite. This is my number one favorite of the next one that we are gonna talk about. Yeah, but these aren't really ranked. But this might be my number one favorite. So it's Rory Gilmore and Lorelai Gilmore that you see in this beautiful poster right here. Yeah, Lorelai Gilmore might be my favorite character of all time in TV show history. I mean, it's really hard to say there are so many great ones like Tony Soprano, for example, and so many. And I know it's kind of cool to hate Rory these days because she's so egoistical and so entitled. And yeah, but I still love Rory. She has many flaws, but I mean, she's a young person, so she's kind of supposed to have some flaws. Although I guess in the year in the life sequel to the show, like she still keeps making some of the same mistakes. Yeah, but I still love Rory. I still love Rory. Yeah, but I love Lorelai more. But they have such great chemistry together. They are so much fun. They are so witty. Yeah, I absolutely love them. I mean, these would be the type of people that I would just love to hang out with. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But what, what a great duo! What a great duo! Then we have my favorite couple in the OC. We have Autumn Reeser as Taylor Townsend and Ben McKenzie as Ryan Atwood. The romance in the fourth season, which happens to me be my favorite season these days. Which isn't, isn't a very common opinion, but I just love the fourth season with all of its weirdness. And yeah, and I love just Taylor and Ryan, they were meant to be together. Fuck Marissa. I love Marissa, but Taylor is better for Ryan than Marissa. Yeah. She's smart. She's beautiful. She's weird. She's funny. She's very intense. But she's what Ryan needs. Yeah. And Ryan obviously is heartbroken in this season because he lost Marissa, which is very sad. But but Taylor gets Ryan back on track to live a good life even after Marissa dies. And I think Taylor and Ryan have just great chemistry together. All the scenes with them are so, so much fun when Taylor is Ryan's sleep therapist or when Ryan has to engage with the with Taylor's ex-husband Henry Michel <laughs> and when Taylor lies to Henry Michel that Ryan has went to Scotland to study David Hume's <laughs> archives like that's fucking hilarious scene yeah then Ryan is just who is David Hume yeah yeah and I think Ryan was reading like Sartre uh, after he had dinner with Taylor and Henri Michel. I believe it was Sartre. Yeah. Because he thought that he needs to read all the French philosophy to be with Taylor and to compete with Henri Michel. And there are so many interesting and fun, fun parts with this relationship. Absolutely love it. And obviously it... It's a bit open in the end that what happens to them after the show ends, but in my mind, they are together and they get married at some point, hopefully. Yeah, I would love to see that. Yeah. And I would marry either of these people <laughs> myself, so yeah, I just love them. Ah. Ah. <laughs> um, this is probably the most famous duo out of this video, or I don't know, I mean, there are a couple of other really famous ones, like the 
Gilmore Girls, of course, and then the Dragon Ball that we are going to talk about the last. Yeah. But this is a shot from the famous episode, so Pine Parents, which is towards the end of the third season. And of course, people think that this is one of the greatest TV show episodes of all time, and I agree. Yeah. I love all the episodes where Christopher and Paulie have some sort of feud and some sort of fight, and then they are just angry and do all kinds of things to each other, like the one where Christopher says that I'm not gonna pay the bill in the restaurant. Like that's really fun. Fun episode, for example. Yeah. Yeah, what a great duo. All of these characters are so amazing. Both are great performances and they have great chemistry together. Yeah. And Sopranos has other great duos as well, but I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah. Then we have Merlin. Uh, there's Anthony Head. I'm seeing him every day currently because I'm finally watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the first time. So I'm now in like episode 19 of the second season, I think. I probably will finish the second season tonight. Very exciting, very exciting. But Anthony Head is really good in this show. And there was just a like an love magic love potion type of episode in Buffy the Vampire Slayer and of course there is that in Merlin as well but in Merlin Anthony Head himself has to worry about the love potions because he gets married to a troll yeah that's really fun episode by the way but anyway but the duo that I'm talking about here is Arthur played by Bradley James and Colin Morgan's Merlin they have amazing chemistry with each other, great humor, but they also are very loyal to each other. They have this beautiful bromance that ends very tragically. But yeah, there are lots of different emotions between them. There's the humor, there's the loyalty, there's the very deep friendship. And obviously they hate each other at first, but then they learn that both are great people. Yeah, a beautiful bromance. Possibly my favorite bromance in TV show history. But then last but not least is Dragon Ball Z and Super, but I have the Super poster here. But the duo is Goku and Vegeta. And obviously in this Super show they definitely feel like a duo because they always fight together and they are both kind of like the main characters here. Of course, it was a bit different in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. But they are just so much fun together. Kakarot. Yeah. How they always want to be stronger than the other one, and how they always push each other, how they train together. They are so much fun together. Yeah. They are similar, but also very different at the same time. And Vegeta has always been my favorite character in Dragon Ball since I was a kid, so I lo love Super. One of the reasons I love Super is that they give so much screen time to Vegeta. Although I just wish that they le let him end some of the battles, and because he's so powerful here. But they always just let Goku or something else happen. That will save the day. They should let Vegeta do the heavy lifting sometimes, yeah. But I could have also gone with Vs and Beerus. I absolutely love, love that duo as well. Yeah, such a great duo, fun duo. But anyway, those were the five. But I could have also gone with Dean and Sam Winchester from Supernatural. Love the brothers. I could have gone with Lucas and Peyton from One Tree Hill. And I could have gone with, well, I don't know, well, well, there are many others, but those are some, yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know your favorite TV duos and movie duos. Don't drink all the coke, and sayonara.